हेलो एवरी वन एंड गुड मॉर्निंग माई नेम इज डॉक्टर राज दंडेकर एंड आई वेलकम यू टू दर्ड एपिसोड ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग मॉर्निंग वी हैव स्टार्टेड दिस प्ले लिस्ट सो दैट वी कैन स्टे मोर एंगेज एंड कनेक्टेड विद आवर ऑडियंस ऑन यूट्यूब एंड एवरी सिंगल डे विल बी पुटिंग आउट अ वेरी स्मॉल फाइव टू एट मिनिट्स वीडियो रिगार्डिंग अ पर्टिक्युलर मशीन लर्निंग कॉन्सेप्ट और अ पर्टिक्युलर मशीन लर्निंग आइडिया सो वेन यू वेक अप इन द मॉर्निंग or whenever you see this video and if you don't have enough time can just spend 5 to 8 minutes watching this video and you will go away by learning an important concept in today's video the topic which i want to discuss about is neural networks and uh, the way i think about neural networks right now versus the way i used to think about neural networks when i first learned it when i first learned about neural networks about 5 to 6 years back during my phd at mit i thought this is some very complicated thing it's like rocket science and this is the base of a fundamental discovery which is quite complicated and quite difficult to understand and uh, i took my first machine learning course and even after that course since i did not build a neural network myself from scratch i was of the opinion that neural networks are like a black box things do work magically but i don't really understand why they work later what happened was that i built a neural network entirely from scratch without using any python library like pytorch or tensorflow i wrote down equations for a neuron for a bunch of neurons when they form a layer and for multiple layers when they stack together and then i realized what neural networks are at the heart of it really simplifying it neural networks are just large functions when i mean large functions they are mathematical representations just like you have mathematical representations for a straight line y equal to mx plus c right if you have a parabola it becomes y equal to ax square plus bx plus c a neural network can also be written just like this functional representation y equal to f of x but it just that that f for a neural network is much larger it's a nested function so it's f of g of h of x and then this just keeps on continuing but the moment i started looking at neural networks as just a large function things really started to make sense for me let's say if you have a complicated underlying data like a weather forecasting data which you want to capture and let's say the data has a lot of oscillations and you want to have a function which approximates this data and let's say you don't have any knowledge about neural networks at all so you start with a straight line y equal to ax plus b that will just give you a straight line right it won't capture this data so you are like okay let me make this function a bit more complex y equal to ax square plus bx plus c you fit a parabola and you still think this parabola does not capture the underlying data then you go to a cubic function ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d and then you try to fit the underlying data still it does not fit so you keep on increasing the power of x you go to the 100th degree polynomial or the 200th degree polynomial and still with larger and larger polynomial functions it's still harder to fit that complicated data on the other hand if you take a neural network which has two hidden layers 10 neurons in each layer you can fit that underlying data pretty well why because neural networks have something called as activation functions within them which give non linearity which captures non linearity in the underlying data so although neural networks are just large functions the way the functions are constructed is beautiful there are activation functions which drive an entire neural network such as the relu or sigmoid or tanage and these activation functions are able to capture much more nuances and complexities in the underlying data itself so if we take the weather forecasting data which is pretty complex a neural network which i just described can approximate that data pretty well and that's pretty awesome so instead of just writing a 100 degree polynomial you can now visualize a neural network i can draw these neurons and i can see that okay this structure captures the underlying data quite well that's one powerful property of neural networks the second reason why neural networks work so well is of course related to back propagation right 
taking gradients of neural networks and their parameters is very easy. You just apply chain rule a bunch of times. And why is gradient needed? Because to optimize the parameters, we need to find the derivative of the loss function with respect to all of the parameters. And that's really simplified in neural networks. So when you just look at the trees, you lose the forest, right? So if you just look at the individual aspects of a neural network, things look complex, but just zoom out a bit, try to see neural networks for what they are. They are just large function approximators. That's it. Uh, and the reason they are so powerful is because of non-linear activation functions. So no need to be afraid of neural networks. If you like mathematics, if you like physics, neural networks are actually pretty uh, straightforward to build from the ground up. Uh, I would suggest that to really appreciate neural networks, don't start with PyTorch or TensorFlow. You can just use a TensorFlow package of 10 lines and run a neural network, but that won't teach you anything. What will really teach you something is if you write a equation for a neuron from a scratch, if you do the matrix multiplication of forward pass from scratch, if you write the backward pass from scratch, and then if you integrate the forward pass and the backward pass and to see how the loss actually decreases, try building an entire neural network from scratch. There are several videos and playlists on this channel which can help you do the same. Uh, so the main purpose or the main takeaway of this video is that don't be scared of neural networks. They are just large function approximators. If you like mathematics, if you like physics, try building a neural network from scratch and then it will change the way you think about neural networks and then you won't be afraid of the field of deep learning at all. Thank you so much everyone. I'll see you again tomorrow for another day of machine learning mornings. Thank you.